the true story of Captain Richard Phillips and the 2009 hijacking by Somali pirates of the U.S. flagged MV Maersk, Alabama, the first American cargo ship to be hijacked in 200 years. This is my review of Captain Phillips. The first time I heard anything about Captain Phillips was almost a year ago now, and it was about um, how the studio um, got the rights to the book that was written by the actual Captain Phillips, and that the movie was going to be based off of the book and some other things about the 2009 hijacking. And once I heard that news, I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to see that movie because I already knew like almost all the facts about um, Captain Phillips. But once I heard that it was going to be um, starring Tom Hanks as Captain Phillips and that it was going to be directed by Paul Greengrass, who also directed uh, films like Born Supremacy, Born Ultimatum, and U993, which I like all of them, um, that got me like really interested. And once I saw the first trailer, it got me even more interested. And after seeing Captain Phillips with my dad, guys, hey guys, it's really great, even though I knew all the facts and everything. The good points. So the main good point, in my opinion, was um, the directing from Paul Greengrass, because um, his directing style is, um, like, he, he, sh he um, tries to make it as realistic as possible, and he likes to build up tension in his scenes, and he likes to um, build up the tension to the climax and everything, and I like how he does that. Tom Hanks as Ken Phillips was also good. I thought he did really good in the first act, in the second act, and the third act, but I think his um, best scene was the ending scene of Ken Phillips, and if you go to see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, that, like, ending scene was, like, really, um, provoking, and it was like really trembling in a way and I wouldn't be surprised if he got a an Oscar nomination for his role in Captain Phillips. I thought that the actors that played the pirates did a really good job because um they're really terrifying and gruesome at points and you felt like when you're watching the scene you like you felt like um they were actually pirates and everything. And to my knowledge, um, the four actors that played the four pirates are um, first-time actors as well. So it's like, holy crap, Like these first-time uh, movie actors are doing a really good job for their debut film. I also thought that the writing was good as well, because you have to do a lot to get me invested in a story where I already know all the facts. But um, it does a really good job of telling... Um, the backstories of the pirates and why they're doing, like what they're doing, why they're hijacking boats and freighters, and um, I think that the writing also helps, like with the tension as well. The bad points, yeah. So one point of the movie that I didn't like was um, when they first got on the lifeboat, when the four pirates and Captain Phillips, um were um, in the lifeboat like for the first um, like 10 to 20 minutes or something can't remember but it was just like really slow and I understand um, that's how it would have been in real life but I don't know like I thought that that part was the was the weakest point in the writing and it was just the slowest part in the movie like it was just that part and at points you sort of wonder um, like if the film is like really telling the truth like if some parts are uh, factual or if some parts are um, fiction and after seeing Captain Phillips I went on the internet and checked out um, like some facts that I didn't know about and some of them were true and some of them weren't true for example one of the things that um wasn't true, and this isn't spoiling anything, but in um, in the movie, uh, Captain Phillips is perceived in a way as a um, hero, and I'm sure he was in real life, but 
to my knowledge, from what I read, um, some of the crew members, uh, when they saw the movie, they didn't like think it was a, um, it was an actual um, portrayal of what Kevin Phillips was like on, like during the hijack and everything, and um, they thought that he was naive and everything, but I don't really know since I wasn't there. And I also get for some points in the movie, like, when there's nothing happening, you have to make some stuff up to, like, keep the tension there and everything to make you, like, still invested in the movie, so I understand that part also. So my dad gives this a 3.25 out of 4 stars. While I go slightly higher than him, I give it a 3.5 out of 4 stars. I think it's a good movie, um, if you do know, like, almost everything about the actual hijacking and everything, then I think it's still a movie for you to see, because I think Greengrass is, um, tension building and the performance that Tom Hanks gives us and the pirates, the um, people that played the pirates give up, gives us, um, are really good and you should go see it just for that. But, um, if you ha if you don't know anything about the 2009 hijacking, then don't check anything out about the hijacking and just go see the movie because if you don't if you don't know anything the better and that's it